Hi everyone. This is Wendy with TBR Spiritual Health. It is Sunday. It is my day of rest. Therefore, no makeup, no hair, none of the fancy schmancy stuff. So today I want to talk to you about words. About being intentional with your words. Back when I was married and unemployed, um, although I was going to school for four hours a day, um, when I got home, I would do all the house stuff. I would do all the chores and the cooking and the grocery shopping and all that stuff. So when my husband or ex-husband finally got home, I was like, oh, people, <laughs> and let's talk and like blah, blah, and just verbally vomited on him. And he would just sit there and take it a few times. And then he would go out into the garage or out into the shop and spend a half an hour or an hour out there before he came back in and then was more engaging. <clears throat> Eventually, he told me, he's like, look, if you could just give me 30 minutes after work to decompress and disengage from work, then I could be more present with you and actually pay attention to what you're telling me. And I was like, oh, sure, no problem, right? <clears throat> but what it actually did is not only did it give him that opportunity, which, which did make him more engaging with me, um, it also allowed me to process what I wanted to say to him and be more intentional about what I wanted to share instead of just verbally vomiting on him when he walked in the door. And I'm working with a client on that right now as she is um, working with me as a spiritual therapist and she's getting a lot of information right now. So when she comes in or when we have an online meeting, um, she just verbally vomits, which is fine, except that, um, in order for me to be able to pay attention, um, uh, or to absorb the information, I either have to go into subconscious mode and let my subconscious take in all the information that she's giving me or, and then it'll come and then it'll come back. It'll, whatever is appropriate for me to pay attention to will come up either in thoughts or in dreams later. Um, in our last session, my God was telling me to be conscious. So every time I tried to go into subconscious mode and just absorb the information, he's like, no, I want you to be conscious for this. And that was very overwhelming with the speed of which she was verbally vomiting and the amount of information, it was just very overwhelming for me to be able to process and conceptualize and discern any of the information that she was giving me. And so we had a little bit about this conversation and I you know, told her, I'm like, I need you to be more intentional with the information that you're giving me and really kind of decide what parts of it you wanna give me or if you do want to give me all of it, then I need you to tell it to me at a slower pace so that my brain can conceptualize and discern whether or not that's right for me or right or not, or what meaning that has for the conversation or what meaning that has for her <clears throat> or to help her determine that on her own. So I ask you, when you go into a meeting, do you have a hundred different thoughts running in your head that you want to address into the meeting? And so when you get into the meeting, you address all hundred of them and then everybody's sitting there like, I don't know what to do with this amount of information or um, it doesn't land on anyone or there's no resolution, there's no productivity. Um, do you do that with your spouse when they come home from work or when you finally get some quality time with each other? You know, how is there an, anywhere in your world where you just verbally vomit 
And what can you do about that? How can you take the time to really think it through and decide what information is pertinent in that moment that you want to address? And what is the resolution that you want? Or do you just need to vent? So I invite you to be a little bit more intentional and a little bit more mindful about um, what you express with people and why, and um, not just throwing it all out there. Right. So if you like this content, if you like this video, if you want to share some of the tools uh, that you use in order to uh, be more discerning and more intentional with your communication, like this video, share it, comment on it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and please follow me some more or reach out for a free discovery session and let's talk and let's see how we can help each other. Again, Wendy, TBR Spiritual Health. Have an awesome Sunday. Enjoy football.